We can also use anatomy as evidence of evolution. There are three things that we need to know. Homologous structures are body parts with similar anatomies in different species. So this shows that different species developed the same way. Vestigial organs are body parts that no longer have a use, like your, you might have your tonsils taken out because you don't really need them. You might have your appendix taken out for the same reason. Embryology compares the appearance of animals as they are developing as embryos, so while they're inside the mom. Homologous structures, embryology, and comparative anatomy show us how different organisms have started out the same and then changed or adapted into their environments. So we might see how a chicken started out and then how it may be changed into a different type of organism with maybe a longer beak or something to evolve into its, its new area. Here we can see comparative anatomy between species. So humans, cats, whales, and bats all have the same bones in their arms or in their fins or in their wings. And that shows us that they started out developing and then, you know, the bat's humerus got a lot thinner for its needs. We can also use this showing of how these organisms developed. And you can see that humans and turtles' embryos look very similar and then they change. In one species, we can use vestigial organs to show. And vestigial organs show that we have evolved to not use certain organs. So we have a tailbone, but we don't have a tail. And that's because at one point we were long, long time ago, we were primates that did have tails. But as we evolved to no longer need our tails to hang from branches and run around trees, then we no longer needed that bone. But we still have it. 